Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I'm kind of on a roll today. It's my second video today. I'm not sure if I'll get it uploaded today or not and edited and stuff, but anyways, it'll get made. It might be either today or tomorrow. Um, it's uh, Today is Sunday, and it's in about 5.30 p.m., and it's about 88 degrees. I think we hit a little over 90 today, uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty warm today, but it's real breezy, so it's not bad. So it's a beautiful day, so I thought I'd get out and do another video. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, like me, like it when I walk through towns. Uh, other people from other countries like to see what it's like around here, and then people that used to live in the area that moved away and stuff. And uh, I get a lot of requests for uh, videos like that. So I'm in Whitewater, Wisconsin right now, and I'm going to do a walk around the old part of town. And uh, I'm kind of starting a little bit before the town because uh, there's a couple things out here I wanted to show you. So anyways, let's get started, and if you want to go for a walk through Whitewater, Wisconsin, uh, we'll help me turn this camera around and we'll, we'll get started. Uh, the last video I did in Delavan, Wisconsin, I got asked if there was any bed and breakfasts. I don't think there is really that I can think of, but uh, here's one in Whitewater, Wisconsin. It's called the Hamilton House Bed and Breakfast. Uh, I've never been there myself, uh, but it's a pretty cool looking old house. Uh, that would be something cool to, for me to paint someday, I think. But pretty cool when I I think I need a little bit more skill though to do that there's a lot of a lot of stuff in there a lot of angles and just it's gonna that would be a hard one but it'd be a cool one if you could get her done anyways um, I got a request from one lady that went to college here this is a college town uh, college is about I don't know a few blocks west of here um, and I think this is a building right there that white one the cream colored one I think she said she lived there. If I got the right building, I could be wrong. But anyway, she wanted me to videotape it, so hopefully I got the right building. I don't know. So anyways, if that's not right, let me know and I'll try to catch it on the next video. Anyways, we'll get down to the old part of town more and uh, where more of the storefronts are. I'm going to put you on pause for just a second, and then we'll get started. Be right back with you. This is a heating and cooling store. This is an antique store. Uh, actually, it looks like it's not in there no more. Uh, everything must go. 90% going out of business. I haven't been here for over a year. I have bought stuff there. It used to be... I think they called it the White White Elephant, but I may be wrong on the name there, but I think that's what they called that. Huh. H&R Tax Place there. Aranda, it looks like a clothing store. I don't know much of these stores here. I don't really do much business or shop in this town. I usually do all my stuff in Delavan. We'll, we'll, both, we'll both be learning about Whitewater here. Got this road closed off. I don't I guess it's so the people in the restaurants, they can come out here and eat and stuff. I don't know. It's been this way for a while. I do drive through this city, uh, quite regularly with a school bus. Dale's Bootery. I've uh, bought stuff in there before. But I guess I have done a little business in this town, but not very much. A lot of cool old buildings and stuff.
classes are open if you want to bring your dog. K9 campus. That's kind of cool. A tattoo, please. Lots of pizza places in this town, and lots of bars in this town. It is a college town. A few weeks ago, the must have been towards the end of school. Uh, it was kids were getting a little rambunctious, I heard, and uh, they uh, had all the police from all the local areas over here just to keep everybody in line. Really windy here. I hope I'm not getting too much wind noise. And over there is called Second Salem Brewing Brewing Company. Never been in there neither. Have to check that out someday. There's a real cool art mural on the wall down here. There's a old dairy place that's been there for years. That might be, I don't know if that's the same store from the back side or not sure. Yeah, yeah these are the back sides of those stores. Kind of like they got two store two storefronts front and back. See if I can zoom in on that painting on that building. Pretty cool. I was just looking at the weather and uh, there's only like 5% chance of rain today, but on um, Tuesday they're saying a 71% chance or something. Man, I hope we get it because we are dry. Since I planted my beans and corn, uh, we haven't even had three quarters of an inch of rain. And that's been quite a, quite a while. I haven't mowed my lawn in two weeks. And it's turning brown. I'm going to have to put you on pause here. There's some music coming on just a moment. Sunday afternoon, it's uh, not a whole lot going on. post office down there. A lot of these buildings look like they're not being used. Actually like here you can see all covered up in the windows and nothing going on in that store. This one here is covered up.
I feel sorry for some of the bars in town here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I don't know the whole story, but college kids get themselves in trouble and it seems like the bars end up getting in trouble where they try to take their licenses away from the bar and I don't know if it's actually the bar's fault or not, but because they go, well, you know how the college kids are, they go bar to bar to bar and then they get in trouble in one bar and then it ends up that bar is the one that gets in trouble and I don't know. I've seen this on the internet before. This looks like a kind of a cool place. There's some art that was made in there. I'm guessing anyways. It was such a beautiful day, I just had to get out. I couldn't... I got stuff to do at home, but I didn't want to waste the day. I've been watching uh, a lot of this one guy's uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can say it right. Uh, name, it's uh, S-A-D-H-G-U-R-U, Sadaguru. Um, he's a guy from India. And he travels all over the world, everywhere. He speaks at colleges, and I think he spoke at the UN, and all over the place. He just speaks everywhere. He's kind of an inspirational speaker. And uh, boy, he's very knowledgeable. He uh, tells how he was a kid, and uh, used to just observe everything. And he, he, he's smart, he's got a lot of common sense. A lot of, a lot of common sense you don't see nowadays. And uh, I'll try to leave a link to his channel down in my description. I highly recommend it. I'm guarantee you it'll uh, it'll make you it'll make your life better if you watch some of his videos. It definitely ain't gonna make your life any worse. I'll tell you that. He's got a lot of good advice on there. He's got a pretty good sense of humor too. Walking right towards the wind right now. This is supposed to be a pretty good restaurant, I've heard. Take a look at their menu. Farm to table. I get it right from the farm. It's an old railroad station, I believe, that they restored. I've been in there before. It's been a while. I don't know. I don't think they allow you to bring cameras in there. Got a vendor down here selling tacos, burritos, quesadillas, sodas. This is the park I uh, normally have the fireworks. Uh, on the 4th of July. 
usually way down there. There's water over there. I'll, I'll actually walk down there. There's a that curved roof down there is uh, where the band and stuff usually plays, and where they have a beer beer garden or whatever you want to call it, beer tent. It's not really a tent, but. I don't believe they had it last year because of the pandemic. I got two more days of school bus driving this week and school's out. I don't have more time to make more videos. <laughs> you guys might be sick of me before the summer's over. The park hours are 6 a.m. to midnight. So I'm good coming in here. Regular road trek. Looks like we got some, uh, I don't know what you call them, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, something going on down here, or something like that. Actually, I was wrong when I told you they had the beer in that curb building. That's where the band plays. Normally, I guess there's a tent over right in that area where those flowers are hanging on the pole. Right in that area, there's a big tent where they have the beer and stuff. But uh, that's where the band plays, right there, when they have the 4th of July going on. I go down here, there's a Kind of a, I don't know what you call it, lake. <laughs> but it is dried up. I'm not sure if it's because of the weather or I think they're doing some like dredging or something on the other side. And maybe that has something to do with this. Because normally this is all filled up with water out here. It looks really weird not having water in it. Because they shoot the fireworks over the water. So that might be kind of weird this year if there's no water in there. That is normally all filled up with water. That's weird. A couple ducks out there looking for some water. <laughs> poor, poor guys. I should really come here more often and walk around this town and get to know it a little better. It's a lot of pretty paths and stuff around here. It's good to venture out once in a while and see the world, I guess. Never really noticed uh, this arch here before. All the stuff that's on there. Let me get on the other side so I'm not facing the sun and show it to you. It'll show up better, I think. It's pretty cool. It's all metal. Cut out a metal.
Pretty cool. This is a bar called the Brass Rail. It's been here for years. Been in there, but it's been years. Jessica's restaurant and banquet room. Been in the restaurant before, but it's been a long, long time. Embroidery. Another bar. We got a lot of bars here in Wisconsin. It's a chamber of commerce. This is a pretty kind of a neat piece of art they got out here on the sidewalk. Kind of cool. Who's on first? <laughs> I just had to say that. All right, that's enough of me goofing around. Got a Ford Cutter Hagen dealership down here. That's been there for years too. Long, long time. Another pizza place. Another restaurant. Another pizza place. I don't know if you notice, but just almost every store has a help wanted or hiring sign. Another clothing store. Resale clothing. There's a bicycle shop. Called Quiet Hut Sports. I always thought I might like one of those. They got them in electric ones now. That'd be kind of cool. Take a look at the bike around the corner here. Pretty nice. Looks like a chopper. 
Well, that's pretty much it for the old part of town. So I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Have a great day or evening, whatever it is where you're at, and we'll see you later. Bye now.